morning so i'm off to the allotment plot today there's been a lot of rain overnight so i'm going down just to make sure everything's okay uh, and whilst i'm there i'll give you a little look around let's go it looks okay brilliant if you saw my earlier video about when we first took the allotment on you'll know that along here was like a it was like a stream when we were getting the plot sorted uh, but nope i'm very pleased oh so well that's a relief today at least i don't have to swim to the shed so i think first things first kettle on cup of tea lovely Good morning, welcome to the channel Gang Gang and Peanut, two peas in a pod, I'm Gang Gang and today I'm at the allotment. You can tell I'm at the allotment because I'm wearing my allotment hat. Haven't we all got an allotment hat? Just me? Hmm. Okay, so I've come over today because there was a lot of rain last night and uh, the plot in the, uh, when we first took the plot on it was prone to a bit of flooding uh, if you've seen the first video uh, strange enough called first allotment plot um, oh the kettle's boiling one minute oh, i'll get back to that in a moment so if you've seen the first video you'll know that uh, we took on a plot it wasn't even a plot really it was just a piece of overgrown weed ridden rubbish ridden land so but we persevered we knocked it into shape and you would have seen what we done with it up to a point now it's progressed a little bit since then so I'm going to give you a little walk around a plot tour as they say um, not that there's much to see there's not much growing at the moment um, and have a look around the plot I think I've got a few jobs to do today I need to fix one or two little pieces of fencing I'm going to get some wood chip before it's all taken away because it goes pretty quick over here uh, but then it's free so we can't complain uh, I'm going to give the shed a little clean up and um, yeah that's what's going to happen so let me make a cup of tea and I'll be back to you in two ticks <laughs> slight technical hitch I forgot my mug I'm going to use a jar Beetroot. I thought I could taste a little bit of beetroot, but hey, I think I'm going to do this all the time. Anyway, the sun's out. It looks lovely out there. I'm going to finish my, my beetroot infused coffee. Oh, that's great. Let's go and have a look, see what's going on out on the clock, shall we? The sun is shining. The rain has stopped. And, uh, it's a gorgeous day out here. So I'm going to walk down to the end of the plot, the gate, and uh, we'll walk backwards up to the shed and show you what's what. Look at that sky. Now this was the view uh, from the gate, which you could see in the first video we done. And uh, these are the beds that we put in. This is, where's the first one? The first one we put in was at this end actually. This was the first one uh, and we've grown a few things in this. We didn't grow anything in it last year. I left it just to, uh, to have a rest because we all need a rest once in a while, don't we? There's another bed here that's back down. It's got some sheeting on it at the moment just to uh, keep the weeds down and stop the rain leaching anything out of the soil that's, that's any good. So there's a second bed. There's another bed and another bed. I've rotated different crops in different beds over the last couple of years because apparently uh, crop rotation is good for the soil. I don't know if that means on an industrial scale like you would get on a farm but hey we give it a go and I'll talk to you about crop rotation in another video. It's nothing difficult to grasp. No. Anyway on we go. So this bed here 
and this bed here there's a path in between and the bed over there that bed that bed and that bed originally were all one bed but it was quite an area if you were just planting some onions you'd have a hell of a lot of onions in there crikey this this construction here with the mesh this is where I grew some peas last year and they were quite tall growing peas they were called uh, they were called British Queen I think something like that I can't remember but they grew quite tall and they did grow tall right above the top of the bar there the only problem is we had quite a hot spell in the summer and it took so much watering that they started to stop producing but you know, I've still got some nice peas from it. Yes, you see the rhubarb is starting to come through. Always the first thing, rhubarb, to come through. So a little bit of manure put on it. You can always tell springs on its way because the rhubarb comes up. Right. Uh, so what have we got here? Some raspberries in here. I did have some strawberries growing in the bottom. Uh, they've kind of self-seeded a little bit. They've the runners have started to produce some little plants in different places round by this round by this wood chip. There you can see some strawberry runners. So there's that part. Uh, what's around here? Uh, these are what I'm going to use this year to grow my strawberries in. They were kindly given to me by another plot holder. I've got three of them. And I think we drill a few holes in them make some kind of a frame for them to sit in it'll be perfect for strawberries this is just a bed that i started last year it's, i've not done much it's got a bit weedy over the winter i've used it just to put some uh, bits and bobs there but i'm thinking that this year i might make that into a pumpkin patch for peanut because we did grow a pumpkin last year, or several pumpkins actually. They're only jack-o'-lanterns, but he absolutely loved them. And carving the pumpkins out, all kids love doing that, don't they? Big water butt, an IBC tank, which I use for the water. Then there's a junk area. Everyone's got a junk area, haven't they? Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's junk to somebody else, to anyone with an allotment. But it's not junk, it's stuff that's necessary. There's, behind there is a... Uh, compost bins and over there's a compost bin and there's a tyre that every allotment's got a tyre on and I'm loath to uh, just chuck it in the rubbish uh, it's an ideal weight to keep sheeting down so as long as it's with me here it's not causing any problems in any landfill is it so and then we're round to the shed which is fantastic the shed it does need a coat of paint this year um, so that's another job to do. There's some bags there that I got last year. They were used uh, commercially to grow something in, I'm not sure. But I got them off of another plot holder. I got a pallet though, they were 50 pence each. And they were perfect for growing strawberries in. Had to add a bit of feed, but they were perfectly okay. Got the strawberry plants, more strawberry plants there. Few little logs, nice to sit on and put your lunch on a nice sunny day and then we're kind of back to the beginning of the plot. Uh, one of the little jobs I have to do today is to straighten up a little bit of fencing over there somewhere. Over the back there some more wood chip needs to go down where I weeded a little part of it the other day and just to show you this membrane quickly this is a very thick membrane and it doesn't fray it's tucked in under another piece here. It's tucked in underneath the edges of these these raised beds, and it's been down for a little while now, and it's been perfectly okay. Um, and it does keep the weeds down. I don't get many weeds at all on these wood chip paths. So there we are. That's how we look today. Uh, Crack it when we took it on not seen the video go and have a look at it uh, if you're losing heart and don't know what to do on your own plot go and watch that video you'll see that everything is possible
Look at that sunshine in February. That's great. Spring is getting ready to sprung. So that's the tour around the plot. There's not much to see at the moment. It is February. There's not much growing. But I hope you follow us along through this series of videos. Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you'll just enjoy watching. And can I please ask you, if you liked what you saw, please give us a thumbs up. Or you can subscribe somewhere down there. And as ever, until next time, take care.